In May 2015, Gawthorpe Hall closed its doors to the public. This was to allow essential repair work to be carried out to the 400-year-old building. The work was undertaken by Conlon Construction, a company experienced in heritage projects. The house disappeared under a wrapping of scaffolding and plastic to protect the building whilst the exterior repairs were in progress. Whilst inside, walls and floors had to be protected and if it couldn't be moved, it had to be covered. We asked senior museums manager, Charlotte Steeles, when the decision was made that the work was needed. Every five years there's an extensive review of the property um, to identify any works that, that require um, priority attention. Um, so the last one of those was in 2013. So uh, at that point, a list was drawn up of, of what works needed to be done most urgently and, and that's, that's what's happening now. How has it been financed? Uh, through the County Council. Um, so it's, uh, there's, there's no input from the National Trust then? No, no, it's all financed through the County Council. Right, uh, one of the biggest problems seems to be the ceiling in one of the middle rooms, is it? Yes, I think it's, it's one of those issues with a historic building that um, you can't see what's behind the plaster. And sometimes when you start looking, you start realising that uh, there, are, there are bigger problems than you might have initially have thought. So that, that is an, an element that will probably need some additional work beyond, beyond this contract. Site Supervisor Gary Chadwick explains the problems with the ceiling in the Huntroid bedroom. This is the Huntroid bedroom. This is the ceiling that was all supported before with acros and it's been pinned up because it's actually separating. This is only a temporary job at the minute, just to make it safe. What's happened upstairs is previously they've backfilled it all in between joists from above and poured plaster in, which the excess weight now has started pushing the ceiling down. So they've had to pin it all up obviously to a later, a later date when they can, uh, it'll have to be done from above when the weather's a bit better. Okay. Oh, the four poster bed is uh, all encased and boxed in. Um, there's humidity fires inside just to keep everything, well, from getting down back to yeah. He then went on to detail the work that had been done to the windows and mullions. This stone was all dropping off on the inside. So they've actually put, filled them with a uh, lime, some more to mix. Glazed units, all new lead work. So you have to replace the lead, did you? Yeah, they, they, they took each window away in sections, uh, pendle stained glass, and rebuilt them all. And brought them back and fitted them. They tried to keep as much of the old glass as possible. So I'll say this one was broke, they put a piece inside to keep it. Well, this is the final stage now. It's been rubbed down a couple of times now. As you can see, the moisture coming out still. All the, the metal boys have been painted with a paint called Lamp Black. I know it looks great, but that's what it's called. <laughs> Chandeliers coming. These are chandeliers, yeah, all protected. So there's no form of lighting in here, that's why they've got these all in a transformer. Contractors are, are very confident that they'll be finished on their original schedule, which was towards the end of February. Um, so once the building contractors have removed the scaffolding, removed all the protection materials that are around the building, then our team can move in and start cleaning and putting things back together. Um, so an advertised date for reopening um, is 
we begin in the 18th of April, so we, we, hope, we hope to be open for the bulk of the visitor season this year. Yeah, there must be quite a bit of work involved in putting everything back and cleaning and ceilings, etc. Yes, and it's remembering where everything goes. <laughs> Obviously, there was quite an extensive programme of photograph taking before the hall closed, just to make sure that things did go back where, where they needed to. Um, but there will be an element of some redisplay with regards to the Rachel K. Shuttleworth textile collection. Um, it's an opportunity for those, those cases to be redisplayed and something different for visitors to see when they come back. Museum manager Rachel Pollitt explains the problems experienced during the restoration. For the last 12 months the hall has been closed to the public. We've had a, a major building restoration project taking place at the hall. Um, it was mainly to do with the windows, work to do with all the leaded windows and the stonework on there and also the pointing and work on the out exterior stonework and then inside the building some work on the plaster and they've got some very old plaster ceilings in here so to do with those. The work itself is quite simple, but because the hall's 400 years old, there was a major job to do with packing up the building, protecting all of the items that are in it, all of the furniture and the paintings and the ceramics, and then also with protecting things like the wooden floors and the plaster ceilings and the staircase. Um, so a massive job of sort of wrapping the hall up in a big parcel and keeping it all protected. And then the because we've got over 200 windows, doing work on all of the le they're all leaded windows, so they're all quite small diamond-shaped panes, um, it's very specialist work to replace the glass and to, to do that delicate work on there and um, that also takes a huge amount of time for the windows to be taken out and then protective coverings put in so there's no water in the building um, and then to get to the top of the building we're a tower shaped building there was a huge set of scaffolding wrapped around the outside um, to sort of allow access up to the roof and the top of the building so big project. So the hall is now fully open to the public as normal? It is, yes. Finally, we are fully open. It's been a long process. The building work finished in February. We then had to unwrap the hall, if you like, and everything in it. So first, a major job of cleaning, because although the work was done very well, you've still got dust everywhere, as you'll know if you do anything in your own home. Um, so we've had to clean all of that up and then slowly start to get the rooms back together again. So clean all the floors and repolish them. And then you need lots of people involved to try and move the large furniture in place and then get it all cleaned then unwrap the ceramics, get the curtains back up. Everything has taken you know, a good couple of months to do all of that. And we're still doing bits and pieces um, to get sort of small details finished off. But yes, we opened on the 20th of April. Um, so it's really nice to have the public back in again and, and have the house looking how it should, really. And finally, after almost 12 months, the splendour of Gawthorpe Hall is available for all to enjoy. <laughs>